And welcome back. So today we're going to be tackling the Stop the Hacking mission. The whole backstory here is pretty much that someone was out there hacking their resistance's shit. So they traced it back to this secret underground base underneath the desert, the same one where we fought Blizzak. So we're being sent out there to kick ass, take names, and ultimately stop the hacking, as the mission name would imply. But first we have to get to that base, which means we have to walk through this desert, avoiding vultures, killing sandworms, and finally taking out this robotic fire-breathing camel. Yes, robotic fire-breathing camel. You heard me. Jumping out of the shaft. That's gotta be murder on the legs. Okay, looks like they didn't upgrade their defenses, which is good because it allows me to just walk right in. Almost like it's a trap. Oh well. Let's not worry about that. So you're noticing that once again I'm using the buster slash saber combination here. The game sort of assumes that they're the weapons that you're going to be using. They're the weapons I have most upgraded. And they're good in a lot of situations. They're sort of the most well-rounded weapons. The shield boomerang is kind of crappy. It really limits your offensive abilities. I consider it a complete piece of crap, which is why I don't really use it. It's really only good for giving you another projectile weapon, and a really good projectile weapon, but it's just not very good overall. The triple rod is really great, especially if you learn to use it right, but I don't know, it just doesn't quite have the same effect as a huge fucking laser sword, and the various huge area of effect sweeps you can get by using that. Okay, huge fucking jump right there because there's spikes goddamn everywhere. This is underneath that ice that was here when Blizzak was running shit. Which is why we have to uh, go the long way around. Before we just walked across the top of this, but now we have to sort of find a way up and into the base. Fortunately it's not too hard. And I'm running, I'm running and dealing with slowdown. Fucking slowdown. Okay, avoiding missiles. Those will attack you from off screen, so keep an eye out. You never know what's going to happen. You could just be walking along and all of a sudden one of those is going to smack you right in the face. So keep an eye out. Oh hey look, a Repliforce symbol. Ha ha ha, references. Iris, no! Oh, wait, uh, sorry, flashback. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I have um, Maverick War Syndrome. It causes me to have freakish fl flashbacks. And also stutter uncontrollably at times. Okay, this is that door at the base. We're finally back on track here. Just gotta climb a bunch of ladders. By the way, there's cyber elves all over the fucking place. This mission is full of them. Although they're largely hidden in Blizzak's level and all those cells and stuff. So that's very time consuming to do. So look forward to another huge fucking pile of screenshots right there. And remember this door I pointed out? Yeah, this is what that's for. This is where the main computer is. She's going to unlock the door. And then I have to go in and shut off all these machines. Nah, I'll just blow them all up. There we go. You destroyed a computer. Yes, yes I did. And she just caused my energy crystals to disappear. Because she wouldn't shut the fuck up. Fucking hate you, CL. Doctor fucking obvious. I really hate when they give you like a sort of partner who just does nothing but sort of state the obvious. It's It just feels really insulting because it's like the game's trying to say, well you're too stupid to navigate this game yourself, so here's somebody to tell you what to do every step of the way. I mean at times it's sort of appreciated, especially if the game is huge and complicated, but does she really need to call you every couple of minutes to give you some idea of what you're doing? It just feels wrong on so many levels. Okay, so this is done, and okay, so we fought three of the four guardians so far. One was non-elemental, one was weak to electricity, one was weak to ice. What do you figure the last one's going to be weak to? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on this one. If you didn't say fire, well, I don't agree with you. Be careful, Zero, I've got a massive energy reading. Yeah, I've got a massive energy reading right here, CL. Suck it. The enemy is near. And... It's a boss fight in an area with instant kill spikes. Don't you just love those? 
So this is Leviathan, the last of the four guardians, the chick in charge of the navy. And she's a bit of a bitch. After hearing so much about you from that petty kid and the combat nerd, I have been looking forward to seeing you. I can't wait to see their face when they find out that it was I who retired you. Overconfident, self-centered, huge ego, complete bitch. Hate this chick. Now don't hold back just because I'm a woman. I don't intend to. I intend on kicking you right in the fucking face, you goddamn bitch. You and your fucking ice level. And your water level. Okay, it's really more of a water level than an ice level. But, yeah, she's ice elemental, so... It all makes sense eventually. So that's one of her patterns. Those things just drop down. As long as you're not directly under them, don't worry. It's her harpoons that get to be a bit of a pain. She does that thing where she spins her staff, and that causes a really huge projectile to come out. Fortunately, you can take out a lot of these things just by slashing away with your saber. The saber, of course, being the perfect weapon for taking this bitch down. Because splash damage is... Oh, fuck no. Uh, splash damage is huge. Yeah, that's her special skill. It's a big fucking ice dragon. And I fucking hate it because it homes in on you no matter what you do. And, yeah, I'm fucking screwed here if I do not take her down right. There we go. Okay, that was close. Yeah, it's an underwater level, so your jumps are a lot higher. Watch out for the spikes. Watch out for that fucking dragon if you came in with a high rank. And for everything else, you pretty much just have to either jump over it or get rid of it with your saber. It's pretty simple, but she does have a nasty habit of catching you off guard quite a few times because she's kind of random to some degree. Why didn't you terminate me? Are you showing me mercy? Hell no. How rude. I told you not to hold anything back. Next time we meet, you had better give me your best. Is everyone in this fucking army, like, have a death wish or some shit? It, I mean, what the hell? I, I don't, I don't fucking know. Good work, Zero. And we get another side rail for our trouble. Even though you couldn't really see it because it was off screen. Yeah. Okay, 92 points. Pretty good. Another speedster because I finish fast. <laughs> I swear, I only do that in video games. A uh, decent number of enemies killed. Uh, it's just sort of a combination of not killing quite enough enemies and taking just a little bit too much damage. I really, really fucked up the boss fight, so that's where most of my points went. Yeah, I, I should have done better with that. But, well, she's down. That's another level out of the way. And it looks like we're really, really close to the end. Which is good, because things are about to get slightly more interesting. Okay, see you next time for yet another level. Fuck you all and good night.